YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja, and today we're doing an unboxing of LG's V60 ThinQ 5G. A big shout out to LG for sending this out for me to unbox and have a review with it. And I'm really excited about this phone because it has the dual screen attachment to it. And I'm just excited to kind of see how that goes. But first, let's give it an unboxing. Full disclaimer, before I do an unboxing, I don't want to know everything about the phone because I really want it to be a early impressions and a genuine first look. Now that we have the box open, here it is. It has the uh, little LG cloth on top. Take this off and we are greeted with the phone. As I said, it's the AT&T variant of the phone, so it has this, it can wait, distracted driving. Okay, now that we got the stickers off the phone, here is the phone. As you can see on the back, it is a glass back. Still got a little residue from the stickers, my bad. But anyways, we have a glass back right here. Um, this nice uh, chrome, well, this nice like uh, gold color uh, outline at the very top towards the cameras. It's kind of a nice touch. We have the same outline towards the sides, towards the bottom, and towards the back. On the left-hand side, we have the volume rockers, and this, this button, I believe, will be the ThinQ button, um, their, uh, their AI assistant, and then we have the power button on the opposite side. I'm assuming we will check once we get into the phone. Very bottom, we still got the headphone jack, nice touch, and USB-C, and also the downward firing speaker. I will say this build does remind me of the Samsung S20 line. I will say this build does remind me of the S20, especially towards the bottom here. They're very similar looking phones. Um, just in the hand, they, they feel very similar. <sighs> like the button layout, pretty much the button layout, having the two, uh, two volume rockers and then this little button here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and look inside the box, see what else comes. We have a little, little message from LG. And then we have this box right here, which is gonna be our SIM card removal tool and some documentation about the device. AT&T tossed in their little card in here, which is cool. And then everything from LG and the SIM card removal tool. So inside we have our 25 watt charging brick and then our USB-C cable, which is USB-C to USB-C. Okay, so here is the phone. Let's go ahead and fire it up for the first time. As we get this situated, we're turning this on. Um, Let's go ahead and unbox the dual screen. Very excited about this. This is what you're seeing in uh, all the commercials and all the ads and the product placements for the little Yachty and the Eminem video. So here's the dual screen. It tells you how to install it and how to remove it. So we'll go ahead and do that once we get the phone into Android. And at this point to speed the video up, I always just kind of skip over the setup of the phone unless I find something very unique and something very cool. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and hop forward just a few minutes. Okay, so here's the device. I just uh, set everything up and now here's the dual screen. So let me show you how to install the dual screen. You just push the bottom down and press it in. That's really it. So you have two screens now, actually three screens if you, if you really wanna look at it that way. The outside just shows the time and it shows notifications. This is very reflective. I mean, you can even, you can see my face right here. It's very reflective and it has a special coating. It's a little hazy when looking at it at certain angles. So it's not just standard glass. It might have like a protective layer over it or something to prevent scratches. Um, and then once you open it up, you have both home screens on the screen at one time. And it just looks really, really cool. Um, so let's go ahead and unlock our phone. Now, as you can see, um, these are two separate apps at running at the same time. So it's not like one app extended between the two because I have my calendar. And even if I rotate it or open it, my calendar is not at the bottom. So this is a second display. So if you're doing some, something completely different. So for example, I can go into gallery in here and calendar on the other side. So I can go through my calendar while going through a gallery. So here we go. We have both open at the exact same time. Two different, two different things. I mean, here's an app drawer and here's the home screen. So it is definitely unique. Now, what I do like is that I go into picture and I press on like the gallery button and it opens up on the second screen. So they do communicate to each other, but they are separate experiences, which is something I'm noticing. Um, the dual screen obviously adds a little bulk to the phone. So it is, it is a lot thicker. Once again, let's compare it to the S20, uh, S20 plus as far as thickness. Now the display is going to be 6.8 inches. Resolution is 1080 by 2460, so not quite 21, 
um, 21 by nine aspect ratio. It's 20.5 by nine aspect ratio, P OLED screen. So you're gonna have those great colors and great blacks as well. Internally, there is 128 gigabytes of storage and eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I guess we could talk about the cameras here. Uh, 64 uh, megapixel camera, F1.8. 13 megapixel wide angle lens. Well, sorry, it's an ultra wide angle lens, F1.9. And then there's this depth sensor here made for the, uh, the portrait mode and, and shallow focus and, and things like that. Let's take a couple sample shots and I will paste those in this unboxing, just some quick selfie portrait shots. Some quick photos here so you can kind of see Obviously, these are not gonna be great examples because there's harsh lighting where I'm at. There's a big light right here, and uh, it's not gonna be great examples, but we can kind of dive into the camera just a little bit here uh, to sort of talk about it. So it's very similar to what you've seen with other phones as far as their camera software. You have all of your camera modes right here. Then you have a more button where you can add more features too. Um, LG has always been good with manual controls, and this is no exception. You have manual camera and manual video too for video creators out there. Um, we have video, which does shoot, um, actually shoots up to 8K resolution, which is uh, really nice to see. Photos, as I said, you have the standard, then you have a 2X zoom, which is a digital zoom, not, a, not an optical zoom. And then you have the 0.5, which is gonna be your ultra wide view. Now back to the phone, I mean, this is gonna be your standard flagship, um, you know, obviously besides the second screen, this is gonna be a standard flagship as far as, uh, as, far as features and, uh, and specs. Now they also do have the headphone jack at the bottom, which I showed earlier, but you know, a lot of manufacturers are leaving that behind and uh, some people really dig headphone jacks and you can definitely still use it on this phone. Um, the selfie camera in the very front is 10 megapixels and it's F1.9 as well um, for those selfie enthusiasts out there. This is rocking 5G, both the standard and also uh, the, the millimeter. And um, so you should have signal no matter where you're at. Verizon's version of this phone is $50 more. So this phone with the second screen, which I did, which I will recommend, um, is $900, but um, on Verizon is $950. So as far as internal specs, you know, you have the Snapdragon 865 processor. So it's gonna be a very fast phone. And then I already mentioned, but it does have eight gigabytes of RAM as well, which obviously is not top of the line at the moment anymore but I think it's very capable to do what we need to do. But since you can run two apps at one time, I wonder how it works under high stress loads of multiple apps. So um, we will find out. Anyways, guys, those are a really quick video, just the first impressions, hands-on, and first look of the LG V60 and also the dual screen attachment. What do you wanna know about this phone? Please let me know down below in the comments. Kevin the Tech Ninja here. Have a good day. I'll you guys later.